This is Scott the Fix-It Guy. Our goal with our videos is to empower you to be able to do the repairs on your own and save a whole lot of money and also get that great feeling of having fixed it by yourself. Today we have a KitchenAid gas stove where the left front burner is not igniting easily, sometimes not at all. So it should be easy to fix this by doing a little cleaning. So I took off that cap in the middle. I'm using a wire brush to clean this area very thoroughly. I'm going to clean the underside of this metal cap that goes on top. I want to use a wire brush to get it really clean. You could also use sandpaper would work too. But you're just trying to get some of the corrosion off the metal. And then that allows for a stronger spark because uh, when you have the corrosion free, the electrons can travel easier to make that spark. I'm also going to take off this part of the burner. This is a uh, Torx 15 screws holding it on. You have to get a little Torx bit to be able to get these off. You get them at the hardware store. And once you get these four off, you can just lift up on this burner ring, get it out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead and remove a couple more screws here that are holding on the lower part of the burner. And that's going to allow me to get in and really clean some of the parts that can get fouled up over time. There's a little brass piece here in the middle with a small hole. I'm going to get something very narrow to poke in there and twist it around. And then I'll turn on the gas to let the gas push out the debris. I'll try that a few times. And that can really help to allow for more gas to come out to give you a better start and make it more likely that you'll get a start 100% of the time. So I'm going to clean that out, use my wire brush to clean all the metal surfaces here on the top and gently around the igniter. And then when I do the reassembly, I'll just put the parts back together snugly, clean any of the metal to metal contacts because that's going to help the electricity travel through and complete a circuit to create a really strong spark. Usually the front burners get used all the time and sometimes there's a boil over thing with milk in particular and it just gets over everything and clogs all the jets and makes it really hard to start. So this simple cleaning take you a few minutes, maybe do it once a year and all of a sudden your burners will work really good. So now we're just going to put those screws back in. I think the lower part here has three Torx 15 screws. Another thing that can help too is um, if you get a can of electrical cleaner, you can get it at Home Depot in the electrical section and you can spray it in to where the little hole is, where the orifice is, and that often can dissolve some of the debris that might be there and also eliminate some of the corrosion. But direct mechanical action with a wire brush works really good. I get these wire brushes, you get three of them for a dollar at the dollar store, and they work really good, they last a long time. So here's the upper part of that ring. Again, we're just cleaning any of the uh, areas that we see any corrosion on. And I did see evidence of some dried up milk that probably spilled over at some point. All right, we'll tighten up those four screws. So just tight connections and everything clean, all the metal points clean makes a big difference. For that electrical spark to happen, it has to have a really good ground connection, and that can only be had if the uh, surfaces are all really clean. So I'm just cleaning up that middle burner cap, and that's where the spark jumps. It looks pretty rusty, so I'm going to try to get it nice and shiny. There we go, put that back on, and then we'll put the burner ring back on too. Let's do a little test. So yeah, so the center part ignites really easily now. And that's really the part you gotta get working because that will also 
help ignite the uh, bigger burner ring. This is a pretty cool one on the left. It has a small simmer ring for low heat and it has a big outer ring. There's the middle simmer ring starts really readily, no problem. You turn the burner knob the other way and then that'll activate the big burner ring. Yeah, so back to normal. That was super easy. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for watching our video. We really appreciate your support. And when you get a chance, please press the subscribe button below so you can be subscribed and also the notification bell so we can send you more videos about appliance repair. Please also give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. If you really liked the video and it really helped you, please press this new applaud button and you can show your support and also get a nice clapping hands for your video. Thanks again.